everyone, welcome to GIR Golf. I'm Jim, and welcome to today's video where I bring us up to speed on one of the handful of changes the governing bodies of golf are making effective January 1st, 2023 in regards to the rules. Now occasionally the RNA and the USGA who are in charge of making these rules will review some things and make some changes, and they've done that this year. They've made a handful of changes Today's video is probably the most significant change for most of us that we will see, so I thought it would be important to get this going so you can start applying the rules correctly. As you saw by the thumbnail, this change affects six of the rules videos I previously published in a minor way, and that's the purpose of this video. Let's get to it. Let's show you that change so you can apply it immediately. All right, everyone, so I've got a situation here where my golf ball is in the general area and it's come to rest up against this tree, and you can see my golf hole there on the putting green. So, I've got a decision to make. Do I want to play this as it lies, or do I want to declare it unplayable and take a one-stroke penalty? And I chose to do that for the benefit of this video to show you this important change that's happening January 1st. So, I'm deciding I want to declare this ball unplayable because I don't want to injure myself, and I have options. And one of those options for a one stroke penalty is to take a drop on what is called on the back on the line relief. So the back on the line relief or uh, commonly known as a backward extension is a line from the golf flag, the golf ball back as far as you would like as long as I stay on the same part of the golf course my ball is in, in other words the general area, I can drop back there as far as I would like, take the tree out of play and try to hit over it or under it. And this is where the biggest change uh, in January 1st happens. And that is how we are to drop the ball on that backward extension, that back on the line relief. And I'm going to show you the new change next. So I've sprayed some lines on the ground to illustrate the old way of dropping on the back on the line relief or the backward extension and the new way. You can see the new way is a complete circle. We'll go over that in a minute. Let's talk about before January 1st, 2023, the old way. The old way, I would take a tee and put it anywhere on this backward extension. So I draw a line between the flag and where my golf ball is, take my hand or my club, find that point. I would put a tee down, map out a one club length dropping area, not any closer to the hole, and then I could take my drop. I could go get that ball and use it or for the sake of this video and save me some time, I was gonna get another ball in my pocket, declare this ball in play, and I could drop, for example, over here at knee height, the ball landed in there, stayed in there, received my one stroke penalty and play on. Now I've got this angle over here. However, now it's different. I'm gonna move the camera up there and let's talk about what we are to do now. In an effort to simplify this procedure, and also, I believe, just to increase pace of play, this is the new way we are to do this when taking relief on the backward extension or the back on the line. So, we do the same procedure. We got to work on that line between the flag, the golf ball, and stay in the same part of the course. So we come back. Let's say I want to come back this far. I draw my line. Now, here's the big change. We have to drop the ball on the line. Very different than what we saw there. We drop the ball now. So we drop it on the line. So I go in here, estimate that line, drop it at knee height, and the rules say that wherever that ball hits the line, your relief area is one club length from that spot in a complete circle, even forward. This is very strange because uh, every other time in golf that we're taking drops, we are never allowed to, for the ball to go forward. The only time that this ball could not roll forward and be in play is if it was closer than where my original ball was or closer than my entry point if you're dealing with a yellow or red penalty area. Under that circumstance only, as long as it stays within one club length, this ball could even roll forward. But I have to drop it on the line and it must land on the line and not roll any farther than one club length away. Very, very different. You can see the old way I could really get an advantage because I could go off to the side. All right, let's review what we just talked about. Let's say, for example, hypothetical situation, I just hit my tee shot, shot number one, 
up against this tree. Now I've decided to declare the ball unplayable and chose the option to take a drop on the back on the line. So now I decide to do that and I decide to take another ball, put it in play. I could go grab that one. I come up here, I draw a line. Again, I can go back as far as I would like. I'm gonna use the center of my circle because I've already painted the line. I come back as far as I would like. I drop the ball at knee height and the ball must land on that estimated line. It lands there, as long as it doesn't go any farther than a club length away, I'm good to go with a one stroke penalty hitting shot number three right here in our hypothetical situation. Additionally, the ball must stay in the same part of the golf course. For example, if there was a bunker here and I dropped on the backward extension and even though it stayed within a club length and landed in a bunker, that's not the same part of the golf course. It has to stay in the general area or if there's a penalty area here, for example. So keep that in mind because sometimes you may have to come back so far you might be up against another part of the golf course. It has to stay on the same part of the golf course. Additionally, the ball can roll forward up to a club length as long as it's not any closer to the hole than where my ball is or my reference point where I've crossed a red or yellow penalty area, for example. So remember these key points, apply this new rule. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, thank you for all our loyal subscribers out there. Remember to push that like button, that subscribe button. Share this with all your golfing friends because this is a big one. And uh, remember to smile often, have fun. God loves you. We will see you next time.